In this tutorial, let's learn about Hasse diagram or Poset diagram. Poset diagram is a common word which is used in the question papers, previous question papers. So that's fine. In this tutorial, let's see all about Hasse diagram. Okay. Initially, it should be a partial order. What is a partial order? It is reflective, anti-symmetric, and transitive. Okay. I hope you got some idea. Okay. Initially, what are the steps that we follow? Removing the self loops and removing the transitive edges and arranging arranging the values in um, the greater value will be at the top and the lowest value will be at the bottom like this. If the Hasse diagram for one two three four one two three four six like this. Okay, let us take an example. Assume that he has given r is a is equals to one two three four and he gave r is equals to one comma one one comma two one comma three. Okay, he gave something like this. So R has reflexive property, anti-symmetric. There is no two comma. Okay, wait a second. Ah, there is no two comma one. So it is anti-symmetric. Yes. Then transitive. We will also be checking the transitive. Transitive means nothing but a comma b, b comma c. Then a comma c also should exist. One comma one and one comma two. One comma two exist like that. There are all possible systems. So let's go through the. Okay, draw the graph for these relations. Okay, this will be the graph as there is one comma one two comma two three comma three four comma four. So this will be the graph. I have told you the first step is that remove the self loops, remove all the four self loops. Then the diagram will be like this, right? Okay. Now there is nothing much to do. Just you need to remove the transitive edges. What is a transitive edge? That's the first question that you need to answer it yourself. If One comma two and two comma four are existing in the diagram. Then what is the need of existing of one comma four? There is no need of one comma four. We know that if one comma two and two comma four exist, there may be there will be existence of one comma four. So one comma two and two comma four, I'll be removing one comma four. I will be keeping these both and will be removing this. Okay, then search like that. Further continuing, I also got one comma two and two comma three. One comma two, two comma three. What is the need of being one comma three in the list? So remove one comma three. Then two comma three, three comma four. What is the need of being two comma four in the list? So remove two comma four. Then the diagram is like this: one, two, three, four. It is a path, something like that. Just reverse it in this way: one, two, three, four. This is a Hessian diagram. This is not having any. self loops or any transitive edges and it is arranged in like this means it's ascending order it's in ascending order i hope everyone got a small idea on hasen's diagram and further in hasen's diagram if the question is asked like this if they will be giving a small graph like this and he will be asking to find the minimal and maximum element in the poset of this element in this diagram so whenever you are checking it these two are at a same level so these two will be the minimum and these two are at the same level these two will be the maximum there is nothing much to think okay let's take a bit complex diagram here is a complex diagram these are all the questions minimum element maximum element like that he will be asking the questions okay maximum element in the list i have told you these two are approximately same so 24,45 minimum element these two are at same 3,5 Okay, are you able to find the exact greatest value or the least value in the list? No, we are unable to find. We are getting two two values, and those may or may not be the maximum value. So, we cannot find the greatest or least value. So, he is asking upper bound of three. For three, he is asking upper bound. There are three possibilities. Twenty four. Okay, I forgot to write twenty four. Okay, twenty four, nine, and fifteen. There are three possibilities of upper bound of three. Further continuing, upper bound of nine. There is only a single possibility that forty-five. Next, lower bound of fifteen. Fifteen, lower bound five comma three. There are two possibilities. Next, lower bound of forty-five. Forty-five is right here. Lower bound fifteen, five and nine. I hope you understood about Poset and Hasse diagram. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next tutorial let's learn about principle of inclusion and exclusion principle don't miss it guys thank you thanks for watching